In this video we are on lab number three of our SQL injection series. In this lab, as you can see it says uh, SQL injection attack, querying the database type and version on Oracle. So a few bits of information there. Firstly that it's going to be an Oracle database so whatever SQL queries we do we need to make sure that it's consistent with Oracle syntax. It then goes on to say this lab contains a SQL injection vulnerability in the product category filter. So we know where to look there. It goes on to say you can use a union attack to retrieve the results from an injected query. To solve the lab, display the database version string. Okay, so we've got enough information there that will let us know exactly where the uh, SQL injection vulnerability is and just that we need to display the database version to complete the lab. Okay, so let's go over to our lab. So the SQL injection vulnerability was in the category section, so let's just double confirm that by first going to one of our categories. You'll see that we have the filter category equals gifts. So next I would just intercept that request. by clicking on gifts and you can see that get request there so I'm just going to right click and then go in uh, sorry no I'll go to send to repeater and then I can just turn intercept off for now because I've got the request that I need so firstly let's just double check that is vulnerable so let's just use a single quote and we get a 500 internal server error so if I do another single quote we then get a 200 and if I do three so like an odd number of single quotes we once again get an internal error so that's a very good sign that it is definitely vulnerable on the category field so next what I would do is have a look at our cheat sheet so we have found the initial a vulnerability vector just through using a single quote. We know that the database is Oracle so we will need to end our statements with a minus minus or a dash dash however you want to say it. And then we have a whole section here on fingerprinting the database which is what we want to do for this labs. So you'll see that we've got like MySQL, Postgres, Oracle, MS SQL and SQLite. In this instance, we just want the Oracle one. So we've got two different uh, two different potential options that we can use. So we can just try the, the top one. And you can see that it uses the union select, as, as was mentioned in the lab. And then we select the banner from the version table. Now, there is one extra step in this where we need to find the number of columns. Otherwise, the query won't work. But we can use this as a sort of baseline request and modify it to our needs. So we've got the category equals where I'm just going to paste that cheat sheet command in there. So you've, you see we've got union select banner from version. If we try and run it, it probably won't work unless there's one column, which there is. So let's try just a few different bits where we can try and see how many columns there are in the database. So I'm just going to have test one and then we know that that's not going to work. So let's try two columns. So we've got test two and then let's send that query and you'll notice that we get a 200 this time. So that means that there are two columns within the Oracle database we can confirm that by adding another column so if we do comma single quotes and then test three and then you can see that we get our internal server error so 
there are definitely two columns within this database um, so if we just send that request once again and we render the page you can see that we've got test 1 and test 2 that's been reflected back on the page so that means it is definitely working however all we need to do is just change one of these tests to the banner so just type in banner and I just realized that we still have the single quotes because it took that as a literal text so let's remove the single quotes and try again and as you can see it has produced us the database version hope you enjoyed this lab let us know your thoughts in the comments